Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. When Nick arrives at the Newman Ranch, he is surprised to discover that his father has already returned from dropping Nikki off at rehab. Victor only stayed long enough to let her settle in and is clearly tired. They discuss how hard this is on her, and Nick says it's time that they leave this to the professionals. He reminds his father he needs to look after himself and remember that the other threat they were facing is now dead and gone. Sitting and sighing, Victor complains about how much he hated leaving his wife alone with strangers. He wished he could help her through this. His son reminds him she chose to go there on her own. Victor corrects him, she wasn't alone, she was with Jack Abbott. That son of a bitch almost killed her, he complains. Sitting down, Nick asks for an explanation. Twisting in his chair, Victor explains that he was tipped off on where his wife was. When he got there, the paramedics had preceded him. Jack and Nikki had been drinking, and the abbot took opioids and collapsed. Nikki claims that Jack planned it all to shock some sense into her. Shaking his head, Nick mulls over what he must have been thinking. It all seems insane to Victor, but his son points out it worked. Victor thinks this is just another of Jack's failures. Nikki couldn't have been the one who needed the paramedics. His son says Jack risked his life to save Nikki. She's willing to get the help she needs because of him. As Jack pours himself a cup of coffee at the Abbott Mance, Diane rushes through the front door. She's thankful he's home and asks where he was all night. He says time got away from him and he should have called. Diane's on edge as her husband warns her that she's not going to like what he has to say, but she has to hear it all before reacting. Backing away and sitting down, she asks him to go on. Jack explains that he encountered Nikki last night. The stress had finally overcome her, and there was nothing he could do to pull her back from the cliff she was on. He had to do something to save her and came up with an extreme option he had to try. Before Jack can explain, Kyle comes down the stairs. He starts quizzing them about what's happening. Jack asks if they can talk about this another time, because he needs to speak with Diane right now. Kyle senses something is going on, but Diane covers and their son explains Harrison is upstairs watching a movie. Jack offers to keep an eye on him because he will be working from home. Kyle assumes he had a rough night. Diane says he just needs some downtime, but she will be in the office this afternoon. Once Kyle has exited, Diane prompts Jack to get back to what he was explaining. She's getting nervous. Her husband says that Nikki was ready to drink herself into oblivion. The only way that he could think of jolting her out of it was to join her. When that didn't work, he arranged to get some opioids. Have you lost your mind? She asks. Jack says he was determined to go down to rock bottom with Nikki. Diane is appalled that he did this to himself and to her. It doesn't help when he explains that he called his old dealer because his stuff is pure. His wife can't believe he trusted his life with a drug dealer. Jack says it all paid off, Nikki is in rehab. He's not a good enough actor to have faked this, so he had to do it for real. It's beyond Diane's comprehension that Jack could put Nikki's sobriety above his own. Maybe he thinks he did something noble, but she thinks he was selfish. Did he even consider what it would be like for her if he'd OD'd in some hotel with Nikki? Jack says it never would have come to that, and the important thing is that this worked. She senses there's a hole in this story, so he reluctantly admits that he passed out. That's what scared Nikki sober. Diane loses it. Jack admits he may have made a small miscalculation. Diane worries that he's going to be stuck fighting his urges all over again. Jack promises that his sobriety is not at risk and he has no pills left. It was all out of necessity alone. Sobbing, Diane asks again if he stopped and thought of her for one minute. He admits he was selfish and possibly foolish. This is not something he ever wanted to do and he would never have intentionally put her through this. That's what scares her the most, he didn't think. Jack never wants to lose her. 
Falling into his arms, Diane says she never wants to lose him either. Holding her, Jack says he did what he had to to save Nikki. Is there some way she can just trust the rest of it? Phyllis bumps into Summer by the entrance doors of the athletic club. She hugs her close and asks if she's slept and needs breakfast.